The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz is a practical guide to personal freedom and happiness. The book presents a set of agreements that can be made with oneself to live a more fulfilling life and to reduce suffering caused by negative thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. The Four Agreements are Number 1. Be impeccable with your word. Speak with honesty and integrity and avoid using your words to spread negativity or hurt others. Use your words positively and constructively and choose them carefully. Here are ideas on how to be more impeccable with your words. 1. Take time to listen. Try to not be eager to spill out your own thoughts before others are finished. Really tune in which likely means put your mobile down, turn away from the PC, turn the TV off and look at people while they are speaking. 2. Truly pause and think about what another person has said before responding. This may be difficult as our culture tends to expect instant responses. Taking too long might elicit strange faces, irritation or people repeating themselves to you. Keep doing so, and people will look forward to the fact you take the time to be thoughtful. 3. Practice using immediate responses of your own favorite words to show people you have listened. That's so interesting. Well, fascinating. That's terrific. Can you tell me more about her that's appalling? Gosh, what a terrible challenge. Notice these phrases do not launch into a competitive story about yourself. Write a list so you get used to the type of wording you wish you could think of in the moment. Especially useful when dealing with difficult, irrational or rude people. 4. Practice only using words you are comfortable with. Again, you may wish to research words you like using more in conversation and words you believe in. This will make it easier to be impeccable with your words. Don't like swearing, but it comes out come up with alternatives. Number 2. Don't take anything personally. Nothing others say or do is about you. It is a reflection of their own reality and beliefs. Stop taking things personally and let go of the hurt and negativity that others may cause. After someone offends you, here are a few techniques you might use, so you don't go home feeling upset. 1. Practice emotional resilience. 2. Give people the benefit of the doubt because it's possible that you misunderstood what they were saying. 3. Ask the person to clarify what they've said. 4. Stop worrying about what others think about you. 5. Give yourself credit for your strengths. Number 3. Don't make assumptions. Clear communication is important in relationships. So avoid making assumptions about others' thoughts, feelings, or motivations. Ask questions to clarify and avoid misunderstandings. Are you aware that almost everything you tell yourself is an assumption? Humans have a powerful imagination, very powerful. And there are so many ideas and stories that we can imagine. We listen to the symbols talking in our head. We start imagining what other people are doing, what they're thinking, what they're saying about us, and we dream things up in our imagination. We invent a whole story that's only truth for us, but we believe it. One assumption leads to another assumption. We jump to conclusions, and we take our story very personally. Then we blame other people, and we usually start gossiping to try to justify our assumptions. Of course, by gossiping, a distorted message becomes even more distorted. Making assumptions and then taking them personally is the beginning of hell in this world. Almost all of our conflicts are based on this and it's easy to understand why. Number 4. Always do your best. Your level of best changes based on different circumstances, such as your physical, emotional, or mental state. Always do the best you can at any given moment and avoid self-criticism or judgment. By adopting these agreements, individuals can create a more positive and fulfilling life free from negative thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. The book provides practical exercises and examples to help readers understand and implement the agreements into their daily lives. Did you relate to this video? Feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts, experiences or suggestions. And if you found this video helpful, hit the like button and share it with those who need to hear it. Don't forget to subscribe to the University of Wambi and hit the notification bell for more videos. The University of Wambi is a school of life and an academy of ideas helping people lead fulfilling lives by connecting 12 seemingly fragmented but interconnected dimensions of life into a universal whole.